Hey, what's happening YouTube? It's Steve with Rake and Profit, coming back to you with another video. Today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how I tripled my gross sales on eBay within six months and give you folks some helpful tips and strategies that you could use on a daily basis to take your eBay business to the next level. But before I get into that, I wanna please ask you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below so you get these videos coming straight to you. And also, if you like the videos and find them helpful, hit the like button. In addition, please check out my new blog at rakingprofit.com. It's full of cool content and new information that's gonna be able to help you to take your business to the next level. And it's also full of some more details, some of the more nuts and bolts that you're gonna need. But with that being said, let's get started. If you wanna triple your sales on eBay, especially if you're new, you definitely gotta build up your inventory. You're gonna have to find a way to list more items and to be able to get more product in your hands. So maybe you're gonna be able to hit more auctions, hit more thrift stores, yard sales, network with people, talk to your friends, but you've gotta build up your inventory. That's so key. I can't say it enough. It's really a numbers game. So find a way to get more inventory and list more inventory and your sales are gonna increase. Next, create a schedule to list your items. I mean, it's so overlooked. It sounds so easy. But I see so many people on YouTube and just in general who are resellers, they get in the habit of just buying, 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 and they never really set a schedule or take the time to list the items. You can have all the great items in the world, but if you don't list them up, they're never gonna sell. So create a schedule to list your items. What I did was I, I bought a whiteboard from Walmart and I put down all my goals and objectives and it's right in front of my face every single day. So I make sure I do not go to bed until I list up my 10 items. Next tip, increase your average price point per sale. So you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, excuse me, what that means in general is sell higher quality items that are gonna resell for more profits. So an example is, say you're selling clothes and you've looked at all your sales and you're averaging about 13 to $14 per sale. I'm gonna guess you're selling items like Gap or American Eagle or Aero Postel, just lower end stuff. If you wanna increase your sales, a tip would be to sell higher quality items in that category. So maybe you'd sell or look for more Pendletons, you'd focus on the Charles Tywitz, you'd, choke, you'd focus on the Thomas Pinks, the more higher class stuff. So when you increase your price per point, your price per sale, you're gonna increase your profits. And also, you can just look at moving into a whole other category. So recently what I've been doing is I've been buying a lot of shoes, I've been focusing on some more vintage electronics, just trying to get my hands on product that's gonna sell for a higher price and raise up my average uh, price per sale. Also, and this is so important, make sure that you create goals. And I'm talking, I mean, look at where you are now and create a goal that's gonna allow you to stretch and strive forward. So maybe you're selling $1,500 per month, set a goal of maybe 3,000 or 4,000, something that's gonna be challenging to accomplish. And when you set goals like that and you start to read it every single day and you start to visualize yourself already accomplishing that goal, it's just gonna, it's gonna focus your brain on what you want and you're gonna start to make distinctions and see things that you usually wouldn't see and it's gonna bring you to the next level. Also, set your prices higher. A lot of people think, and I thought this too when I got started, that you've gotta set your prices the lowest, you've gotta undercut the market, cheapest always sells the quickest, and I'm here to tell you firsthand from my own experience that it's not necessarily always the case. There's a lot of factors that go into this, and I've talked about this before in other video blogs, but there's a lot more factors like lighting, your listing, your location, your shipping time, so many things. So raise your prices up, and be competitive with the market and you're gonna make more money per sale and you're gonna raise your overall profits. And next, and this is what really helped me a lot, get yourself or upgrade to a store. So if you're selling for a few months and you're just starting to get comfortable, you're doing pretty good with the listings and whatnot, get yourself a store. And the main reason why I like to have a store is first of all, it looks more professional so you kind of fit that part and people take you more serious. And also, you'll be able to use the Markdown Manager and pretty much what that is, is it's a tool that allows you to run a sale on all the items that you have in your store. So it's really quick and it's easy. And I, from my experience, people really like sales because sales kind of put the buyers in a position and make a decision right then and there. So maybe they're looking at a piece of clothing that they wanna buy and they see it's on sale for 30% and the sale's gonna run out in 24 hours. They kinda of think to themselves, well, if I don't get it now, then the sale's gonna run out or maybe someone's gonna buy it because it's a good deal. And you end up snagging a lot more deals. 
So hopefully those tips helped. Make sure you increase your inventory, create a schedule to list your items on a daily basis, increase your average price point per sale, so get higher quality items, or move into different categories and try new things that are gonna sell for better profits. Also, create compelling goals that you could focus on so you can make those distinctions to take your business to the next level. Also, set your prices higher. Be competitive, but don't be the lowest. It's, there's a lot more factors that go into selling an item versus just the price. And also, if you're new, upgrade to a store. You're gonna be able to run sales, you're gonna get more people looking at your listings, and you're gonna overall increase your profits and sales. So, over the last six months, those are some of the top techniques and strategies that I've been using to be able to take my business to the next level and I've tripled my sales. I started off around $1,300 a month and I'm gonna be going well over $4,000 in sales um, on eBay this month, so I'm so excited for that and I hope that this video helped you folks. Hope you implement some of the strategies. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you already haven't. Check me out at Facebook at Rake and Profit and hit me up at rakeandprofit.com, my new blog. There's a lot of cool content there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.